On this episode of Motivate's Do It Yourself Garage, we are going to show you how to scan the tire pressure monitoring system for trouble codes and display the pressure of all four tires. The other day I started my car and I noticed that the tire pressure monitoring system or TPMS light was flashing. Now, when the light turns on and stays on, it means it has detected a tire that has low pressure, which Nissan slash Infinity considers to be less than 183 kilopascals or 26 psi. However, if it's flashing right after you start the car, that means there's a problem with the system. So, how do you find out what the problem is? Well, the easiest and cheapest way that I know is to use a $15 add-on for OBD Fusion, which gives you enhanced diagnostics and yes, it can read the TPMS treble code, and yes, it can also display the tire pressures in real time. Let me show you. If you haven't already set up OBD Fusion for Nissan or Infinity Enhanced Diagnostics, please pop over to my other channel, OBD for Everyone, and watch episode 16, OBD Fusion Enhanced Diagnostics. All right, let's get started. The engine is running, the OBD scanner is plugged in, and the iPad is connected to it. Touch connect. First, we are going to read the TPMS trouble code. Now, since the TPMS module is directly wired to the body control module, we need to select Network D, touch connect, and yes. It will now scan all the modules on Network D. Touch diagnostics. Notice that trouble codes is already selected, then touch yes. Let's just read the trouble codes from the body control module and touch continue. And here's the code. It's a C1710-00 no data RR. Uh, that doesn't tell us very much. Let's touch here for more information. Uh, okay, nothing new here. Let's try online lookup. Well, it says no diagnostic trouble code matched to your query. Now, since this trouble code starts with the C, it is a chassis trouble code and they're defined by the manufacturer, so the online lookup may not have that definition. But, at least we now have the trouble code. Touch back, and back. Since we're still connected to Network D, let me show you something I think you will like to see. Tire pressures. Touch PID values, menu, select PIDs, select Nissan Infinity, then body control module. Then do a search on tire, and select all four tires. Touch back, back, and back. Huh, it looks like it's not working. All the tire pressures are showing zero. To maximize battery life, the tire pressure sensors enter a sleep mode when the car is not moving. They wake up when the vehicle speed is more than about 40 kilometers per hour or 25 miles per hour. So, time to go for a drive. Look, there's the front left tire pressure, and the front right, and the rear left, and, and, well, that's interesting. The right rear isn't showing a pressure. Even at speeds up to 60 kilometers per hour or 40 miles per hour, it never shows a tire pressure. I suspect the rear right tire pressure sensor isn't transmitting the signal, and that's why the tire pressure is zero. And that's why the TPMS light is flashing. The body control module doesn't see the rear right tire pressure. Now, let's go back to that trouble code. It's a C1710 no data RR. Some of you may have guessed the RR is for rear right. The rear right TPMS sensor is not transmitting. The tire pressure sensors have a built-in battery and when the battery is used up, the pressure sensor needs to be replaced. Now, this sensor is about five or six years old, which is the average lifespan. I could clear this code, but it will simply return the next time I drive the car. All right, let's wrap up this episode. We used Obedee's Fusion's enhanced diagnostics to scan the body control module for trouble codes and found a C1710 code. Then we set up OBD Fusion to display the tire pressures as we drove the car and found out the rear right tire pressure sensor wasn't transmitting. So what am I going to do to fix this? Well, as it turns out, my tires are due for replacement and I'll be buying four new sensors to give me another five plus years of trouble-free service.